What's up everybody out there? Aaron here. It's another deck profile. This deck, it's not my deck. It's my friend's deck. His name's Devin. He calls it the Rot Deck. Reason of that? Because this deck can almost rot in your deck. Now you can see right here, insect. So this is not this is not just insects. There are different kinds of monsters he puts in the deck. And most of the time he depends on his trap cards, which some become monsters. And you can be possibly virused because he plays some of the virus cards. So, further ado, here we go. And I will show you what I mean by virus. Because you could get a virus. Your deck can be virus in so many ways. So, further ado, here we go. Howling Insect. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard at a result of battle, you can special summon one insect type monster with an attack of 15 or less from your side of the field. From your deck, special summon it, then shuffle. Ultimate Insect Level 3. This can be special summoned by Howling Insect if it were to be destroyed because it's a 14 attack. So lower than 15. Now, if this card is special summoned by the effect of Ultimate Insect Level 1, but he does not play Level 1, as long as this card remains on the field, decrease the attack of all your opponent's monsters by 300 points. During your standby phase, Send this face-up card to special summon Ultimate Insect Level 5 from your hand or deck. You cannot activate this effect a turn. This card is normal summon, special summon, or flipped face-up. So, he does play the ultimate le uh, insects, but the levels. There is level 1, he does not play level 1. So this is just level 3. Then there's the level 5. Now it does say, yeah, if you're going to tribute, you special summons. But since it's a tr one tribute, you can do that if you wish. Now, ultimate insect level 5. If this were special summoned by the effect of ultimate insect level 3, so if it was done correctly, then you... Then, as long as this card remains on the field, decrease the attack of all opponent's monsters by 500 points. During your standby phase, if this card... Send this face-up card to the graveyard to special summon one ultimate insect level 7 from your hand or deck. You cannot activate this effect during the turn. During this card is normal summon, special summon, or flip face-up. So you can have that effect, but only if it was done by, done successfully by trimming away your ultimate level three. Or of course, yeah, it's just a tribute, one tribute, so one you can have out. Now, ultimate insect level seven, double tribute. Now it is. If this was special summoned by the effect of ultimate level by ultimate insect level five. As long as this card remains face up on your side of the field, decrease the attack and defense of all your opponent's monsters by 700 points. Now, it, it does not say you have to summon this out by ultimate insect level five. No, it could be done by a double tribute, but to have the effect of decreasing the attack and decreasing the attack and defense of all your opponent's monsters by 700 that's if you would have done it by special summoning out from ultimate insect level 5 so it's not a bad thing it's not a bad idea if you can just double tribute and play so 
Next. From the deep, she calls Needleworm. Nah, it's a flip effect, so as soon as it's face down, flipped up. Send the top five cards on top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Send five cards away. Tribe Infecting Virus. Now, okay. This card was totally, totally banded for ever since the game started. Now, okay. When this card was... The only reason why this card was banded was because of the effect, which is now. Okay, you're allowed... This came back, and you're allowed three of them. But he only uses two. Discard one card from your hand and declare one type of monster. Destroy all face up monsters of the declared type on the field. I don't know why people had so many problems with this card. And why they banned it. So, tribe infecting virus. So, again, it's not all insects but it has good potential morphing jar both players discard their hands then draw five cards so almost he's trying to deck you out of here destiny hero defender I know he runs three, but I gotta look for that one. But anyways, Destiny Hero Defender. If this card is face up defense position during your opponent's standby phase, your opponent draws one card. But not that bad because it's a huge defense and it's only a four star monster. So yeah, that was Insect, Aqua, Rock, Warrior, Fiend. But yeah, like I said, this is so many different kinds of monsters, but it tends to work. So, help O, help O Emer. Possibly an old card. I don't know if any of you have seen this card, but... If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, this card's effect is activated. As long as this card is in the graveyard, your opponent discards one card randomly from his or her hand at the end of this turn of his or her battle phase. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. Now, there is, now the only reason why it says his or her because you don't know if you're going against a girl or, you, or a boy. Guy, woman, whatever. Guy, girl, however you want to say. Vampire Lord. Each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent selects one card of that type from his, her deck and sends it to the graveyard. Also, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, it is special summoned to the field during your next standby phase. Wow, just revives itself. Because zombies, they revive themselves. They don't die. The Fiend, make a Cyber. You can special summon this card from your hand if your opponent has at least two or more monsters on the field than you do. So, not that bad. White Horned Dragon. 
When this card is normal summon or special summon, select up to five spell cards from your opponent's graveyard and remove them from play. Increase the attack of this card by 300, by 300 points for each card removed from play by this card's effect. Boost up attack, okay. Archfiend of Guilford. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one face-up monster on the field. Equip that target with this card. That monster loses 500 attack while this while this while equipped with this card. Wow. Okay. Now we we'll want the magics. Those are, those are the monsters. So, Venom Swamp. Okay. Now it's uh, okay. The field spell. Venom Swamp. Monsters lose 500 attack for each Venom counter on them. Destroy a monster if its attack becomes zero by this effect. During either during each player's end phase, place one Venom counter on each face of monster, except Venom monsters. There are no Venom monsters in the deck. But that's how, of course, it says Venom counters. That's how you get them. By this uh, field spell. Venom Swamp. Okay. Burden of the Might. Continuous spell and pretty good. Each face of monster your opponent controls loses 100 attack of its own level. Pretty decent good. Monster Reborn. And Wave Motion Cannon. Send this card on the field to the graveyard during your main phase. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the number of your standby phases that have passed after this card's activation times 1,000. Yeah, cannon, you're gonna most likely shoot your opponent, shoot your opponent's life points. But yeah, cannon, fire, hit your opponent. <laughs> And do damage to your opponent. Now, what I mean by monster, by your trap cards, by some trap cards becoming monsters, is of course we'll go with Zoma, the spirit. Now, okay, it does say continuous trap card, but special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster, zombie type, dark level four, eighteen attack, five major defense. This card is still a trap card. If this card is destroyed by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. Wow, so really, do you want to destroy this card and you're going to take damage of what the attack of your monster is? Or are you going to play safe? So yeah, trap card. But, it's still, but it becomes a monster and it is still a trap card. Your courage will fail. Statue of the English Pattern. You betray your friends. Special summon this card as an effect monster. Rock type earth level 7, zero attack, 25 defense. This card is also still a trap card. If summoned this way, this card cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. While you control another trap card that is a monster, if this card is special summoned from, if a card is special summoned from your spell and trap zone to the monster zone, while this card is a monster, you can target that card on the field and destroy it. Wow, so these trap cards become monsters. Venom Burn. Select one monster with a Venom counter counters. Remove all Venom counters.
from that card, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent for each Venom counter removed. Wow, that's burn right there. Burn your opponent if they have Venom counters from Venom Swamp. Now here's what I mean by virus. He plays the virus card. So there is Deck Devastation Virus. Tribute one dark monster with 2,000 attack or more. Look at your opponent's hand. All monsters they control and all cards they draw until the end of the third turn of this card's activation and destroy all those monsters with 15 attack or less. Wow, that's and I know a lot of cards, the monster cards that people play, players play, and depend on our monsters that, fifth, that are 15 attack or less. And this is for three turns. And whatever they draw, whether it's a magic or trap, you still get to look at their cards. Eradicator Epide Epidemic Virus. It is tribute one monster with 25 attack or more, or more, and declare one type of one type of card. Spell the trap. Look at your opponent's hand. All spell and trap cards they control, and all cards they draw until the end of their third turn after this card's effect, and destroy all cards that you declared. If you declared a trap, all trap cards they have in their hand, and if they were to draw trap cards to the third turn, they get destroyed. Crush card virus. Now, of course, they did change crush card virus a bit because it was too broken before, but the new way, and it's not that bad, I say, but of course, plain viruses. Tribute one dark monster with a thousand attack or less. Your opponent takes no battle damage until the end of their next turn after this card revolves. Also, look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. And if they do, destroy the monsters among them with 15 attack or more. Then your opponent can destroy up to three three monsters with 15 attack or less in their deck. Now also, a lot of monsters, also, they depend on, most likely all monsters depend on what their attacks are, less or higher, but at one turn, yeah, crush card virus, you crush them to pieces, crush them. Now of course, Grinning Grave Virus. Tribute one dark monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card of their choice in their hand or deck for every 500 attack that monster had on the field. If you tributed a monster with 2,000 attack or more to activate this card, look at all cards your opponent draws until the end of their third turn. After this card's activation, and destroy all monsters among them. Cards destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this card's effect cannot activate their own effects that same turn. Okay. Pretty crazy. Full force virus. Tribute one dark monster with 2,000 or more defense. Look at your opponent's hand. All monsters they control and all cards they draw until the end of the third turn after this card's activation and destroy all those monsters with 15 attack or less. Wow, virus, virus. Red, 
Yeah, yeah. okay. A step there is ominous fortune telling. During your standby phase, select one random card from your opponent's hand. Call the type of a monster, monster spell, or trap. If you call it right, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent's life points. You can use this effect once per turn. Just call it right. It doesn't matter what the card name is as long as you call it monster, magic, or trap. Nightmare Wheel. Select one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position. When it is removed from the field, destroy this card. During each of your standby phases, your opponent takes 500 points of damage. And then he plays Rainbow Life. Rainbow Life is. When activated, discard one card. Until the end of your turn, whenever you would take damage, you gain that amount of life points instead. So a little backup to increase your life points then be then your life points being way low from a high attack. Just increase your life by that much attack. Damage by mistake. Okay. And then just mirror force. And call of the haunted. So yeah, the viruses are pretty in are pretty intense. Any of these viruses that hit you can possibly, most likely, rotten you. That's why it calls it rotten. Zoma the Spirit in English, most likely of how they're playing, just set them as regular trap cards. Then flip one, activate one, becomes the monster. Same goes for Zoma. Flip, they become monsters. Now remember, Zoma, if it's destroyed, of course, yeah, your mo the monster that attacked this is not destroyed, but takes the damage of what the attack is of that monster. Morphin Jar, you could have set, or if you want to set the defender, you can do that. You have a high defense. They lose cards. They're going to discard cards. Damage. Low the attack. Put counters. And they're going to take damage. The insects intend to help you. Or you can tribute them. Howling Insect, the same thing, and if you were to special summon one out, most likely your option is to bring out the ultimate insect level 3. Of course, yeah, discard a card, and what you see on the field is what you don't want to deal with, so you can just say, Warriors, all warriors are gone. Dragon, all dragons gone. Throw away some of their some of their magic cards that they're possibly gonna want to bring back. But then your white horn dragon. Another reason why you he plays these, they're darks. Dark high attacks. You're gonna need those to play some of the viruses. Same goes for Zoma. They become high. And 
then yeah, just Venom Burn. If you can burn your opponent because they have some counters on it, that's a good way to hit your opponent. So, the deck is pretty much playing Viruses. And you have your backup right here. So even if you did not have to use the regular monsters, but you have your trap cards you can use to play virus cards, you can do that. And yeah, just damage, damage your opponent any way you can. By counters, viruses, of course, yeah, burn. It may not do damage to your opponent, but it helps you discard cards, destroy cards, have a good, good, have a good attackers with burden of the mighty lower, lowering their attacks and may have a higher attack to hit your opponent. So yeah, it's called the Rot Deck because you can rotten your opponent. Or let's just say your opponent's deck. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles later. Peace.